Hover, welcome back to Mouth Sweet, a creepy, weird as fuck indie horror game. And I'm continuing where I left off of uh, getting through final fucking purgatory. I don't fucking know. Just seeing if this is gonna be the boss or someone I can kill. I only have two bullets left, so I'm a little worried because creatures are taking two shots to kill. Alright, what's in here? The screen of PDA shows up. This is it, you know? Your conduct is unacceptable. Sorry, has. You're fired. Uh, I, I sort of read that in Donald Trump's voice. You'll never work a job like this one again. Will you type a reply? Mm. Oh, mm. what should I do? Hmm. Oh, man. All these are good things, but I'm trying to think in the perspective of being good employee or bad employee, and if it will have an effect. And will it have a big effect instead of just something, you know, minor, like, different, like, different words will be said to me and that's it. Or it'll affect the story, I, I don't know. God willing, sorry for the trouble. I, I don't know, I've been showing that I have personality, even if I wanted to originally be obedient to the company by doing everything, so I'll just continue acting as if I have an opinion. You dropped the PDA in a wastebasket without checking for a reply. I look like a stool, not a wastebasket. Well, looks like I'm going to be stealing the car, I think. The car for the car keys are, is in here. I don't know. Something doesn't seem right, though. It has to be more. Because this entire complex is clearly created by whoever's responsible. So I don't think they would just let me escape. Hunky-dory. Okay. Let's see where this goes. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on. Oh, here we go. I had to Z! Oh, okay! I've been sitting here waiting, being like, okay, what's happening? And I had to hit Z, apparently. Hey, Nico, I know the stars are really pretty tonight, but please keep your eyes on the road. Why is Honore with me? Is she waiting for me the whole time? Sorry I didn't mean to surprise you, but this isn't your car, you know? I needed to save other people from CCC. As soon as you get to your destination, I'll be taking it back. CCC saves a lot of money by making their employees feel very, very small. I'll admit you're pretty tough. Most people quit within the first year, but not you. What? Yeah, you worked for about three years! That task where you arranged the boxes, that was over three years ago. Oh, well. This, the time just slips away, doesn't it? Poor Vivian. She knew that what, what that sandwich had in it. Okay, well, what was in it? All I can do is drop hints or I'll arouse suspicion. I wasn't able to save her. She's not the only one either. You still need a job. Of course, I can't help with that part. And there's no guarantee that the next job won't be even worse. But you don't know and you have to admit, just the possibilities are exciting. If it, if it is worse after working at CCC, you know what to do. And you'll even have the courage to do it. This is just the first, and every time sticking up for yourself after that gets easier. So hang in there, your story isn't written yet. This isn't the end. I'm glad we got to meet. Is that supposed to be telling me that it's not the end yet, and I need to do this again if this is actually the end, and I need to redo it again? As I write this, things are still looking pretty dark. Often, I don't see a way out. At this point, I've tried to kill myself three times this year. Things aren't looking up. Things aren't getting better. I made this game an attempt to talk myself out of ending it all. I hope this isn't fucking serious by the developer. I'm so tired. I'm hoping I can come back to this game in a few years and this whole thing will just be an embarrassing and weird because of how much better everything gets after all this. I'll feel silly for ever having thought of it. Well, we'll see, won't we? Thanks for playing. And hang in there. I hope that's not fucking real and saying you are depressed. I hope that's not fucking serious. Like, I I know in like, the terms of the Mother series, um, the creator of Mother series, when he made Mother 1, 2, and 3, he made them, and it made them as compelling, as deep, and as sad as they were, because he was in, like, sort of a condition where he was depressed, and he had issues he had to work out, and, like, a lot of his game ideas came from a misconception, apparently, 
that he had witnessed a rape scene in a movie, which which was a mis- misconception, but it still affected him to make an interestingly traumatizing story. But this is actually developer's notes and not just something said about the game. And Fucking cheer up, man. Don't fucking sh- feel shitty, man. I want to give you words of fucking courage. If that is true, that makes me feel like, sh- like, makes me feel sad and bad. Created by Love Games. Music by Rabbit Rabbit. Built by RPG Maker 2003 and Game Testers. Help support my work and there's Patreon and Twitter for this person. The end. I just want to know if there's multiple endings or not, so I, I guess I'm going to have to ask the developer, but... And that really was his his perspective of just saying he feels that way. I want to fucking cheer him up, man. Game, game, game over. Game, game over. Did, did, did I die? Hmm. Let's see if I start again and if I can choose a different difficulty if there's a new one or not. Well, let's find out. So, I have to ask the developer before I start again, is there multiple endings, first of all? Like, depending on what you say, what you what you type, and... If so, also cheer developer up, because this game is awesome. You guys gotta show him some love, too. I don't, I, I don't know, it puts me in a rut right here. Okay, let me, let me see if I can do a new difficulty, if anything unlocked or not. I will pick Blue Man. Yes. Just just one door? What about difficulties? There we are. Okay, so we have easy and normal. I'm going to also see if there's a hidden door somewhere. Because I get a feeling that could be something that could happen. Nope. Nope. Okay, just 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 easy and normal. Okay. So I'm gonna ask see if there's multiple endings, so if I can replay it or not. So so I can get a different ending, obviously. I want, I'm curious if there's multiple endings or not. And, uh... If not, then uh, that's just basically it. But if so, I'll get back in the game. But I, I, I feel really bad. I'm going to have to reread that message at the end of the game so I can sort of get it processing properly in my head of what what was said. Since I, I was questioning if it was a personal message from the developer or a conjecture about the game and the story itself. So... I really want to cheer this guy up. I, I'm not sure. His name was Mitchell. Like, by thinking about it right now, I'm not sure if Mitchell is a guy or a girl name right now. I mean, I probably sound like an idiot right now, but I have no idea. But him, her... I, I don't know. I just I, I feel bad. So, it was an awesome game. I encourage you, developer. Make new games. I will fucking play them. This was awesome. As much as things can be shitty or that there's no, there's no sensation of a light at the end of a tunnel... Human strength is found in our perseverance and our determination, and... As corny as it was, because when I was depressed, I hated when people told me, Oh, things will get better, you know, I I wanted to punch them. But, truth being, just try to have as much confidence as you can, find someone who supports you, do what you love, and really, that, at the end of the day, should help. Because things will always get better if we stay alive. Because if we, if we die, or if we kill ourselves, then that's the end. We, we give up. So, stick in there. I love this game. You do good work. I loved it. Tell me more. Give me more. And hope for the best for you guys, Mitchell. So, thank you for making this game, and I hope everyone enjoyed watching this game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, give some love to Mitchell. Link in the description below to his uh, game profile on itch.io. And beyond all that, I hope you leave a like, comment, hit subscribe button, and become a fluff scriber. And until the next time. <sighs> oh, there we go. I overcame depression! Depression has cure! Yay! Too bad it's not that easy of spamming the mouse button while making awkward faces on camera. Move on. Oh. Oh, that, that was it. I overcame depression in four minutes. Great!